Barber scenario for you guys to respond to. <laughs> Hear the story, go on. Now listen, yeah, appointment was at 7. Yeah, yep. I get there at 6.55 p.m. outside the shop. Outside the shop at 6.55? 6.55 p.m. Yeah. I can see the barber is still yeah, cutting yeah, someone's hair. And I'm not talking like they're at the end, he's like in the middle. Okay, yep. It is raining. Yep. Yeah, check it out, Red. I said, you know what? I'm going to sit in my car for a bit, all right? The barber shop's full. I'm not going to have anywhere to sit. Let me just sit here. So I sit in the car until... Seven past, I remember because like, I was like, let me go in now, just let him know I'm here. I get in the shop here, and my man tells me he booked me as a no-show. He actually said I'm a no-show, cancel my appointment because I was seven minutes late. I'm like, bro, you've been cutting this guy's hair. I've got here at fit five two, and you're still cutting this guy's hair. Why am I going to come in the shop if I've got to wait? And basically, me and him were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then eventually, everyone else in the shop was like, yo, you kind of did him dirty. Because even though you're saying he's late, you got someone in your chair. And eventually, he managed to cut my hair off to two people. What I think in this situation is, uh -huh. your appointment is at 7 p.m. in the barbershop, okay. not outside the barbershop. So at the time of your appointment, you should be in the barbershop, letting the barber know that you are here. Because mm -hmm. what clients don't know sometimes, and I'm not saying this happened in this situation, mm -hmm. but what clients don't know sometimes is you just take longer on a client because your client hasn't shown up. Like, so you're like, okay, I'll give him extra time until my client shows up. So it's your responsibility to come in and check in. If you go to an airport, you can't say, I'm just here. You have to check in. If you go to the dentist, you check in. If you go to the doctors, you check in. Everywhere you go to when you have an appointment, you check in. So when you've got an appointment with a barber, it's your responsibility to make sure you check in with a barber to let the barber know, yo, just letting you know, I am here. Then a barber can say, I'll be 10 minutes, I'll be one minute, whatever it is. You being, you, <laughs> you never checked in. I hear it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But I still feel like you should have apologised. No, what I hate is when you when you're late, barbers will go in on you. But when they're late, there's never an apology. I apologise. You know what I mean? I apologise. One barber even tried to charge me five pounds for being late. But when he's late, do I get a five pound discount? No. We need an ombudsman for barbers. The times when you haven't shown up to your appointments with me. Well, I don't do that because I pay my fine. I pay my fine. No, the second time you paid the fine, the first time you didn't. That's a lie. That's not. A <laughs> <laughs> I always tell you. Like, let me pay.